I'll call the meeting to order for Inland Wetlands Commission for July 24th, 2024. Thank you all for attending. And uh, I'll ask Bruce to call the roll, please. All right. Ned Statchen? Here. Richard uh, Berlandi? Uh, here. here. David Fox? Here. Robert Eisner? Here. Neil uh, Kelsey? I'm here. Mark uh, Simpson? Mark was here. I heard him before. I'm here. I am gotcha. here. Good. All right. Yep. Andre uh, Simons. Present. Jay uh, Tulin. I'm here. And George Santos. Just for the record, George had emailed us and said he will not be able to attend. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Um, we'll get started. The first thing on the agenda, uh, David Daniel Poulin at 26 Portage Crossing for a shed. And he's online. Are you there, Daniel? I am. All right. Uh, some of the, as I said to you before, uh, some of the commissioners are new. So, okay. are not new, but they they were not here last meeting. So if you don't mind, just. Okay. High level. Yeah, I'll give you a high level. level. Yeah, yep. just give them a little yep. up. Yep. Update. So, right. um, so I've been a resident here. I think it's going on about six years, five and a half, six years. Um, over in the back left corner of my property, I'm looking to construct a 12 by 16 shed. Uh, the location of that shed, uh, ideal location for that shed, um, uh, would require a removal of a approximately an eight inch uh, elm tree uh, that sits in that uh, position currently. Uh, my plan, uh, ass assuming we have approval to remove the tree would be to lay a gravel bed uh, and then construct um, uh, the shed, you know, uh, uh, on cinder blocks on top of that uh, uh, gravel bed. Um, I did submit some plans for it. Uh, so they are in here in the files, but that little tree, the smaller tree up in the front there is what we're talking about. Um, so I don't know if we want to just go through the plans and if there's any questions, I'm happy to answer any and, and all or give more detail if, if anyone needs that. When when are you looking to do this work? Uh, probably going to be the fall at this point is what okay. I'm thinking. And that one tree that you have in the photos with the X on it, that's a tree that you're removing? Yes, sir. Okay. Um. I don't. I don't have any other questions. I'll. Uh, we'll go through the group and ask uh, if anybody else has. Uh, did you have anything else to add? Uh, no, I think just more questions. If okay. if anyone has any, would probably be appropriate. All right, uh, Andre. I have no questions. Okay, Rich Berlandi. No, I'm. I'm good. Thank you. Dave? Um, I just wanted to confirm that there is uh, no excavation uh, involved with this. No, nope, there will be none. Okay, thank you. That's it. Okay, Robert Eisner? No questions. Okay, Neil Kelsey? Uh, nothing for me, thanks. All right. Mark Simpson? No questions. And Jay Tulin? No questions. Okay. Um, so we have to determine uh, significance. Uh, I think it's pretty, uh, you know, in, insignificant use of the property, you know, uh, rather uh, an expected use of the property. Um, I don't think uh well we'll pull the we'll pull the uh pull the uh the members uh, let me know if you think it's uh, uh insignificant um andre i think it's insignificant okay rich berlandi i would agree dave fox agree robert eisner agree Neil Kelsey. I agree. Mark Simpson. Not significant. Okay. And Jay Tulin. Not significant also. Okay. So that 
makes this uh, unanimous that this is not a significant uh, use of the property. No hearings required. Um, does anybody else have any final questions before I ask for a, a vote on the application? Uh, You're voting uh, on the uh, the significance first, right? Huh? We'll, have, we'll need a vote. Uh, we we'll need a uh, motion and second for for the significance. Oh, oh I pulled the I pulled the group. You no, I said, yeah, but we still have to have a. a, a oh, okay. And a vote. All right. Well, uh, I'll. Uh... I'll make a motion to uh, accept that that it's a uh, it's significant uh, use of the property. Okay. Second from Mark. Thank you. Motion has been made and seconded that this is not a significant use of the property. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. Okay, seeing that we, I didn't hear any questions, any further questions. Uh, I'll entertain it. Uh, a motion to accept the uh, to approve the application. Rich, so move. So move, Mark. Second, okay. Rich. All right. Motion is made and seconded to approve the application. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Mm -hmm. Abstain. The application passes. Thank you, Dave. Art. Thank you. No, sorry. Okay, so I'm I am all set. Then is there anything further that I need to do with the town um, for filing or anything? I think you. I think you. Did, did you submit your uh, shed uh, registration form? Uh, the shed. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? I, I, you broke up. Registration form. I'm not sure. You know what? I'll send you an email. Well, so we okay. don't hold this up. I'll send you an email of everything okay. you need to do. All okay, right? so I'm good. I'm good for this evening. I appreciate it. Thanks and for you, are also. To, you know yep. review. Appreciate it. Thanks all. Thank you. Sir. I'll talk to Take you. Later. Care, good luck. Yep. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, his his application on that had a pretty significant layout of the and plan for the shed. So mm -hmm. set of plans. I guess it's a, a stock shed. So yeah, exactly. It's, we know what he's building. Okay. Um, next item on the agenda: winding trails. We accepted the application at the last meeting. Is the no, applicant no. here? No. no. Represented. We had talked about the application, and then we uh, and then we actually required that they uh, come in. Well, we talked about the need for an application, and then uh, and then they actually brought an application in after that. So, so this is a brand new first time us uh, seeing the application. Okay. All uh, right. Is anybody here from Winding Trails? Yes, yes. Scott, Scott Brown. Okay. Hello, Anybody Commissioner. Uh, your, uh, your, your application, please. Okay, so my name is Scott Brown. I serve as the executive director at Winding Trails, and we are submitting a um, application for upland review for a pavilion uh, that is 18 feet by 24 feet that is going to go at the um, southern end of the new tennis courts, which uh, you folks approved last fall. So we just installed... Um, new pickleball and uh, tennis courts. And in this area where the pavilion is located, prior was a gazebo. So similar size, maybe a, a little bit smaller, but it would just be a spot for people to get out of uh, inclement weather or wait for a court to open. So uh, it was really in disrepair and we had approval when we did the courts to remove that. And the plans now are to put a uh, Uniland pavilion, which is the same type pavilion that we have in most of the park now. This will be our 10th one um, from a company called Unilam out of Unadilly, New York. And it's just a glue lamb uh, structure that again will provide uh, shade and uh, protection should we have inclement weather that would go down there. So we're scheduling to do an 18 by 24 foot pavilion. It will have a concrete floor um, that will run just about three feet wider than the uh, existing roof line. So that footprint would be 24 by 30 feet. And uh, as the picture Bruce showing here, would go right in that location. And we just plan to tie in uh, the pavilion with a short sidewalk 
you know, maybe 15, 18 feet long, five feet wide that would tie into that. Um, you know, we would follow all of the similar uh, erosion control protocols we've done with everything else with, with compost socks, um, you know, six inches of compacted granular fill with four inches of Class C concrete for the, uh, for the floor. And uh, Scott, these, these will have a, a footing that you'll excavate down. Like I'm sorry, correct. Yes. There, there will be piers that uh, will have their six piers on this mm -hmm. that will go down the standard, you know, 42 inches um, and have uh, all the rebarb in the cages in order to uh, mm -hmm. safely secure that um, to those piers. And then you'll have a concrete slab underneath there, right? That's correct. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Is, is the concrete slab six inches? Uh, what we've been doing on ours is a four inch uh, slab with uh, class C concrete and, and a six inch um, composted granular fill underneath that. Okay. And, uh, and is there going to be, what kind of equipment is going to be used to install the, uh, the sauna tubes for the yeah uh, so the piers will just be uh we've got a tool cap bobcat with an auger 18 inch auger so we will just uh you know measure and, and dig those down with that and then uh again our, our backhoe with the blade will just be used to to get down the six inches and, and pull that fill out and replace it with the uh with the granular fill and the work area would be surrounded by the silt sock or something else like that? Correct, yeah, compost sock. Um, we've done a combination uh, silt fence. We've used compost socks, and uh, I think the town is fine with either. Okay. And uh, I know Winding Trails always uh, works well with our staff to keep them updated on uh, the, as the work progresses. We'll expect, we'll expect that to, to continue. Absolutely. Uh, I don't have any further questions on this. Uh, so this is to accept the application. I'll uh, does it go through the, the group and see if uh, anybody else has questions on this. Uh, Andre? Um, I have no questions on this at this point in time. Okay. Uh, Rich Berlandi? No, no questions. Thank you. Okay. Dave Fox? No questions. Robert Eisner? No questions. Neil Kelsey? No questions. Mark Simpson? No questions. Jay Tulin? No questions. Okay. Uh, seeing we don't have any questions, we've had an explanation of the project. Uh, Chair will entertain a motion to accept the application. So move on. Okay. Motion to main seconded to accept the application. Did you get that? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion to pass to accept the application passes. Um, does anybody feel we need to have a, a site visit? I I don't think we do. It's pretty straightforward, and we've been to well, I've been to winding trails a lot, but I mean, as a group, we've been to winding trails for different projects. So, uh, how did anybody speak up? They would like to have a site walk here. I was actually thinking about it, but I don't think we do. It seems like it's a pretty straightforward project. No. Okay. They have these, like like you said, they have these pavilions at at all the sites where the uh, campers go and are different places yeah. around. So we've seen them before. Um, do we uh, need to determine significance at this time, or you could do it now, or you could do it at the next meeting? Yeah, we're not going to have a be... site. The next I, heard, I didn't hear anything for a site visit, so uh, I guess we'll determine uh, whether this is significant. I I don't think you know. It seems they they had a, a smaller pavilion there 
previously. Um, they have pavilions, you know, several of them. Like you said, there's 10 of them up there. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think this is a significant activity. It's pretty much expected to, you know, have a place for people to wait out of the, wait, get out of the sun while they're playing pickleball and whatnot. So um, I don't think there's anything different about it. So, um, but what do uh, people feel? Anybody feel that, that this is a significant activity? No, no, Ned, I, no. I agree it's a non-significant but regulated activity. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'll entertain a motion that this is uh, not a significant but regulated activity. So moved by Eisner. Okay. And a second, please. Second by Rich. Second by Mark. Okay. Motion okay. remains seconded that this is not uh, a significant activity. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. It's not significant, but regulated. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll see you uh, in September. September 4th. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you Scott. Okay, show cause hearing, restoration plan. Okay. Now you said George couldn't be here tonight? Exactly, George could not be here tonight. So I received an updated plan about an hour ago. So bear with me. I dumped it into the folder here. I looked at it. Let me back, let's just back up a little bit. Um, since our last meeting, okay, we've been out there a, a couple times. So... No, that's the wrong one. That's the one from today. You know what? Let me just skip. To, yeah, I'm just going to skip to today. So I don't have to have you guys on here forever looking at looking at a thousand pictures. But this is from today. Uh, there was some erosion issues with the uh, storm that we had last week and then a little bit this week. So uh, the end of end of last week, beginning of this week, they were instructed what they had to do. So this was this morning. There was some some silt back, back backed up in the um, in the uh, in the uh, check dam. Here's some of the straw waddles. <clears throat> here's the swale. Here, here's that wetland swale portion down here that's eroded a little bit. You know what? While we're here, let me make sure uh, Christian hasn't called in, right? No, see, no, he's not in. No, 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 nobody from the app again. So there's that wetland swale with a little some. Uh, Erosion going on there. Um, you can see the temporary annual annual uh, rise that is starting to pop, which is good. He's got he's got some uh, tripods out there, and he has been irrigating it, so it is starting to come up. Here's the sod that he laid some sod at the fringe from where the existing level of disturbance and the silt fence was for the house project. So so they put some sod in those areas. All right. So it's coming in, it's starting to pop. There were little George was out there. I was out there Friday. George was out there Saturday. And even George thought it was getting he was getting a little nervous that it wasn't gonna pop. He thought it was a little late. But uh but the I think that uh humidity and that little bit of dampness and the rain that we were getting those small showers really helped. So it is starting to pop. There were some problems with some erosion control that they had to address that was blowing out down in this area, down in the far low corner down by the road. Let's see that. This is the swale coming from the driveway, I think. This is the one that comes off that driveway that ties into the main swale. So they are, it is getting better. I'm sorry, what was that? I, I said it, I said it, it is getting better. It's starting to take, it's starting to stabilize a little bit better. All right. Where where is the area that he put down the uh the sod? Uh let me back, I'll back up. I'll show you I'll show you on an area will probably be easier. There's sod along the edge of the road. 
the catch basin that's full of silt, they have to clean that out. So if I jump through the aerial, I don't want, oh yeah, let me do it on this one here. You know what? Let's do this because that's not going to have the house on there. Uh, near map image. Here we go. So this is a picture. What is the date on this one? This is a uh, 23. So this was the area that he had cleared. There's a there was a steep slope and there was a there was silt fence down at the edge along here. Okay, all along here is part of the building of the house. Well, that was that would that area was very rough. It, it did not grow very good. Um, so what they had did is after this was cleared and during the initial uh, cease and desist, I was talking with the the contractor and the owner, and what he wanted to do was get some sod put in along this edge just to shore up that area because it, it was the initial construction that it was, like I said the 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 grass just never took. So they had added sod along these areas here and along the edge of the road in this portion here. So so that's what you're seeing in the pictures. Okay. They had since come, they were out there late today, this afternoon, and I got photos again about an hour before the meeting. So this was them putting up some, some more rotor control. They added the straw waddle. This is that swale or the wetland that runs out to uh, Vine Hill into the catch basin, which is right here. So they've extended that straw waddle back up protect that. They've added um, wings onto the check dams in the swales itself. You can see the grass again. That's the same as this morning, but it's starting to pop. So there's some more check dams. There's a stone check dams that were all full of sediment. It doesn't look like they were able to address that as much. It looks like they added a little bit more stone though, or, or raked it up and, and cleaned it up a little bit. Have they found the pipe that goes into the catch basin? Yep. Yeah, that's in one of the other pictures. I I can show you that one. It was buried under there. This is the this is his driveway up here. So this is flowing uh east. So it's flowing down the hill and it's actually eroding in here. And George had George and I both had pointed that out that this needs to be filled in. It should be a it should actually be spreading out the flow and not and not actually creating a swale and carving into the in into the soil, causing more uh, uh, erosion. So here's some more stone and a check dam in the wetland. So more of the same. Here's the here's that pond in the upper section there. Mm -hmm. I added some added some stone and a straw waddle in there, and that's that. Um, so that kind of brings us up to today. As I said, I just received the restoration report. Okay. So give me a second. I will open that up next. So let me see if I can do this on this screen. I could do it on mine. Let's see. So here's the original plan. All right. Can I minimize this? I don't think I can do that. Can I? No. Let me just do this. This was the original plan. All right. That that dated July tenth. Yep, July tenth. Okay. So here we go. So this was the original plan. We had the three zones. We had the zone A, which is the immediate wetland area and areas adjacent, and that's about a sixteen foot offset on both sides for a thirty two foot width in here. And then there was zone B which is a more of a planted um, uh, meadow, wet um, meadow, again, about 16 feet either side or, or a 32 foot buffer there. So uh, so it's really about pretty much a 32 foot buffer off each sides of that wetland area through there, all right? And then there's zone C, which is a maintained lawn everywhere else around here. So zoom out a little bit, maybe that'll help, there we go. So, Here's the uh, here's the driveway up up in here, all right. This was the original area of wooded area here that was cleared of the of the underlying vegetation. So and then here's the restoration area right in here. Now, as part of that meeting, 
the commission had discussed widening this buffer out a little bit more. So George had revised that and sent me a plan late uh, today. And this is a pretty much a little bit of a, you know, that's just, that's that in there. That's the conclusion. So this is a summary. Uh, this is a little update of what they did. So they're keeping that zone A at 16 feet, all right? They've increased zone B, which is the wetland or the, uh, not the wet, I keep saying the wetland, but the uh, the wet um, meadow. They've increased that to uh, 25 feet. And then we had concerns. This is a maintained lawn on a weekly basis. This is supposed to be maintained like once or maybe twice a year, that's it. So there was concerns of how this area would be delineated. So that way the guy that's mowing the lawn doesn't, doesn't come all the way down to here and mow this. So George has added some plantings in little areas throughout along this edge to help identify the area. All right, so there is a mixture of uh, here, MV, go to the plan. So it's a mixture of some viburnums or maple leaf viburnums, uh, some pink azaleas, American hazelnuts, and some nanny berries. What I did is some of those I didn't, I've never heard of them. So I put together a little list here. So this is some of the viburnums. This is the other viburnum, Latago. Uh, the, uh, whatever, I can't even, I can't even pronounce that one. <laughs> Another one of those. And then this is the Corliss Americana. So these are the buffer plantings that he's proposing. Okay, staggered along there and around there to help identify between the two areas. So going back to this plan. So this is it. So this is all the shrubs that'll be planted in that zone A. Okay. And other than the ones that I just, just mentioned here, that, that are going to be the, the buffer plantings on the very outside. Uh, zone B is back to the old plan. He's got things on different sheets. So just bear with me on this. Here we go. Zone B is that wetland, is the wet meadow. So that's going to be a mixture of this New England semi-shade grass that he has here from, from the New England wetland plants. So this will be an all grass area. So if it's of any help, let me jump back. And I apologize for jumping back and forth, but it's in two separate drawings. So you've got your shrub plantings in here. You've got your wet meadow on the outskirts, and then you've got these buffer plantings here. All right. So, and, and that 25 feet applies to both sides? Yep, yeah, both sides. So, okay. it'd be technically be 16 and 25, so 30, uh, uh, 41 feet from offset from the, the center line of each side. Okay. All right. Well, that's better. Um, and then here's a little blurb on the conclusion. All this stuff has been uploaded. I uploaded this stuff to your SharePoints about half hour ago. So, <laughs> so things are uh, things are happening here. In conclusion, it's our professional opinion the plan as currently proposed is more than adequate in addressing both the short term as well as the long term protection of the regulated resource. That is, that is a short section of intermittent watercourse on the subject site. We fully understand the commission's position that this work would not have been necessary if the property owner had not removed the understory vegetation or had secured a permit for this activity with an application for regulated activities. Nevertheless, we must point out that the delineated watercourse provides minimal functions and values, is not directly connected to any other regulated watercourse and discharges via a pipe to the roadway drainage system. Therefore, the restoration pose is commensurate with the sensitivity and value of this regulated resource. In fact, what is being proposed as, rest as restoration would very well be considered an enhancement of this resource. So that's straight out of the report that's dated today. Now, I had discussed this with George a, a little bit in his absence. I told him I would at least try to 
show the the commission, update them on what he's proposing. Um, and I said we could leave it up to the the commission at this point. I mean, the options are either to vote on it or to the commission can sit on this for the month of August and we can vote on it at the uh, September meeting. I don't think there's any rush because we're not planting any of this stuff in August. So I think if the commission wants, they have time to really read the report. There's not much more added to it. It's just pretty much a little summary of what I just went over, the expansion of what he's doing and and, and the width. So, at so it's, point, it's not really a lot different from July 10th. It's just that no. he's increased that 16 feet, the outer, whatever, whatever that's B or... Yep, B. So B. A's so it's just center, increased, this, but and and he's added the border so that we can help identify mm -hmm. that area that it doesn't get mowed regularly. Exactly. Okay. Um. Well, I personally don't like, you know, voting on things that uh, that they hand us an hour before the meeting. Agreed. <laughs> I, I don't think I that's fair. That and I, I told think them. I said, "Look, we set a bad precedent if we." We we allow it. Oh, um, agreed. So, um, the applicant's not or the applicant's representative isn't here to answer questions. I I really don't have any questions. I think it's pretty straightforward. But I would like a, a little more time to to look it over and uh, and then we can vote on it and at the September meeting. I think unless anybody has different opinions. I, I just have, I allow myself one silly question. And again, sure. the third meeting, third time actually getting to participate, which I, which I appreciate. I guess I'm just trying to understand. So we approved the first phase of the restoration plan. Um, and I remember asking the question about the, do we need to vote on the cease and desist? The answer to that question was no. So I'm wondering if we're tabling this, I'm trying to just understand what our vote is. Sorry. If, when we do it, what are we voting since we already approved the, the first phase of the restoration plan, where, whether it's now or in September? Well, the, the, the first phase was just the emergent, you know, uh, how to handle an emergency situation where there was erosion going into the, into the waterway. Um, it, we, we really weren't voting on you know the rest of the rest of the the permanent plan, and uh, we reviewed it and we asked uh, for a little more uh, sort of increase in size in in area B. And the other concern was that you know when he has a his paid landscaper to doing the lawn there, how is he going to know not to keep going? So I think they I think the identifier you know the plants plantings along the edge. Uh, will be a good way to make sure the, uh, you know, he can give him instructions. You don't go past the trees. Yeah. So I, so, I think I remember, I think it was kind of like a, yeah. a tentative approval to get them started. I just don't, I, I uh, ask stuff that, you know, a plan that comes in uh, a couple hours before the meeting. So. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, and, and chair, I, I agree with that. And I, and I mentioned that with George when we talked Earlier in the week, he thought he would have it for us on Monday or Tuesday. He agreed, just like what I was saying. I said, "Well, George, if we don't approve this, what's this? What's it? You know, I mean, you're not planting any anything in August." He goes, "No, this is definitely a fall planting period. This was just right. what we voted last week was just an emergency, temporary restoration or stabilization of the property." So, and I and I commend him. I think that you know they've put some stuff in in areas where it's failed or. They're really dressing and putting in more straw straw and whatnot. So I think they're they're trying to be responsible about it. Um, but it is the problem that they created. Uh the only but, thing I would uh, ask is if I think anyone... that we'll just we'll just wait and uh you know if this if this were you know uh, in fall or something and we only had a little bit of time left in the planting season, then I think we'd have a reason to vote on it. But since uh you know they're not going to vote to they're not going to plant till september probably uh i don't see a, a strong reason to act on it how does the rest of the commission feel i'm in a great chairman 
Yeah, yeah right. I agree. And then the other issue is that they are having some erosion problems. So seeing how they handle that over the next month will be important as well. Okay. Thank you for explaining that to me, Ned, again. Appreciate right. it. Bruce, are, so, they, are they continuing to revisit the site like weekly to make sure the erosion is controlled? Yes, we're, yes, we are. And George, in his report, met, uh, specified that he would be back there in the next few days as, as well. So either this week or early next week to check up on it again. Okay. Um, the only thing, Chair, I would ask is that if anyone, if there's anything on here that someone doesn't like or would like them to look at, let me know. I mean, I know, again, I apologize. It's, I, I know you're seeing this for the first time, but if anything does jump out at anybody that they'd like to see, I can at least get that back to the applicant now. Uh, and that it can hopefully make some tweaks for September. But other than that, I, I agree we can hold off for a vote. Uh, you know, I, I did, I was a little curious about um, how, you know, how you found it and in regards to, did they clear some trees as well? I mean, or was it mostly like the ground shrubbery and stuff like that? It, it was it, mostly understory. If there was a tree or two, it may have been dead, but there are a significant amounts. I know when we walked it and some of the commissioners here i know i think we're there during that initial site walk i know it was a while ago but uh it was very overgrown there was lots of um uh invasives there was a lot of i i think it was multi-flora rose you couldn't walk through there without getting hooked and hanged on all kinds of thorns and things like that so yeah. yes there was i mean it it was a mixture of, uh, but i but but when we went out there we did not see any stumps because if, if we see stumps, we'll usually put our foot next to it or take a picture to give the, the commission an idea of how big the stump was and what and what was cut. But but there wasn't any that we saw. So the only other thing that um I might consider is uh do we want to do a site walk on this? Uh we're not gonna act on it until uh, September 4th is the next September meeting. September 4th. Do mm -hmm. Would there be interest in doing a like a site walk the weekend before the next meeting? Although is that a holiday weekend? I'm not Labor sure. Day, uh, is it Labor Day? Or is that the weekend after? Uh, Labor Day, I think, is the end of the month, end of August. I think this year. Let's see. I would be in favor of a site visit. Labor Day is on uh, September second. So we have a uh, Monday off. So really, you've got Tuesday. Unless you wanted to try to do the Saturday, but I mean, every day weekend is really tough, you know? Yeah. Well, maybe. Again, um, again the next meeting is not till the 18th. Right. So, so maybe like the week before Labor Day. So I mean, it's it's summer and we could go on a weekday after work. Um, I know we, you know, when we have longer days, daylight. We, te we tend to do that as opposed to trying to do it on the weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm retired, so anything works for me. <laughs> and there's, yeah. again, and September, you know, the next meeting is not, after that is the 18th. So technically you can go to the Saturday or, I mean, the, the weekend after the 4th. So do like the 7th or the 14th, you know, and then, and then, and then you guys can vote on the 18th. And then there, and then there are the, they're ready to go for planting in the end of uh, September, beginning of October. Summer's gone. <laughs> uh, so Labor Day is, is September 2nd? Yes. yes, sir. Okay. So... Are you so are we talking about like somewhere between Monday the 26th and Thursday the 29th? No, I'm talking, I'm talking us uh, September. I'm saying that the meeting, the, the first meeting is on the fourth, the second right. meeting is not till the 18th. So maintaining everyone's vacations, keeping you know August open if unless you know, un unless everybody wants to meet in August, but uh. But uh, we can technically, instead of trying to jam it in Labor Day weekend, we can go the weekend 
after our meeting on the fourth, like like uh, September seventh or September fourteenth, and then and 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 then you guys can vote on the eighteenth. Two weeks is not going to kill anything, you know what I mean? Because he's not planting till late uh, September, okay. anyways. So I'll yeah, leave I mean, we... up to you guys. You know, I I think I would like a site visit. So, okay. um. I thought we'd be ha we'd have a little pressure on us to vote on this on the fourth, but I guess with the plantings, um, we can go after you know on the seventh or eighth, or or I, you know if you want to try and do it on a weekday after, I'm open for that too. Uh, well. I heard I heard Andre speak up. Who else thinks that uh, it would be worthwhile to do a site visit? Dave would like a site visit. Okay, Dave. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I did look at the uh, recording of the previous meeting and, and read minutes. So I'm, I'm up to date. I forgot to say that for the record. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Uh, Robert? Yeah, I would agree. Site walk would be good. Okay. Neil Kelsey? I'm okay either way. All right. Jay, you said uh, Mark Simpson? Site visits fine, whether I'll be around or not, is just depending upon the date. Yeah, okay. All right, and Jay, you had said you were interested in one. I'm interested in one. All right, so... Do you want to uh, try and set it for the, what was it, what do we say, the 7th or the 8th? I'm a little concerned because if, if uh, I don't know, I guess if the Monday is a holiday, and then it probably would be not that much going on the weekend after that. Um, what are people's preferences between doing it uh, on a weekday after work at like 5 o'clock or? Or would they rather go on Saturday morning? I'm um, more than happy to go after five o'clock on a weekday. Yeah, that's better for me. All right. Another retiree, so everything's a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would listen, Mark, I would say after work would be fine. All right. It's not gonna be a long time and we'll have plenty. No, of I don't think so. But we'd, it'd be good to see how, the, you know, the erosion uh, control is holding up and get a better feel for it. I mean, you, can, you know. It's, it's always a way. Out the, you know, the 16 feet and the 25 feet and see where that gets us. Anytime I can see something, as you guys know from when I served before, it's always going to be a learning opportunity for me. So. Okay. All right. Um. So Bruce, why don't we uh I'm looking for a calendar here? Does it help if I pop it up here? Yeah, like yeah. so if you can see this. Can you see this on the screen? Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. Yes. All right. So September. The seventh is a Saturday, it looks like. Yep. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Do you want to try for, um, although I don't know, is that last week of August, or should we just go with like maybe the 5th? I don't want to do Friday night. Mm -hmm. Come on. Or, we, or actually, we could. <laughs> so if we're not going to vote on it until the 18th, we, have, we can do the 10th, 11th, something yeah. like that, too. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe it would be good to wait until the meeting on the fourth, and people have a better idea of their availability. Well, I don't want it. Like, I don't. Especially if we pick the fifth, I don't want to wait till the fourth. Um, 
let's go with like since we'll stick with the Wednesday and we'll we'll try like a uh Wednesday the eleventh at five o'clock. My schedule could do that. Is that okay for the people? Andre, we couldn't hear you. What was that? My schedule can Okay. Thank you. All right, you know what I'll do? Well, I'll put down the tentative nine uh uh nine eleven, all right? Okay. And six, what that what works for everybody? Six or seven? Uh five thirty? You tell me. Five thirty, I think. Five thirty? All right. People People have a problem with 5.30? That's good. Good here. All right. All right. So we'll put that down for tentative. I'll let the uh, applicant know and the owner know. So, okay. Okay. I think that's it for that one, right? Yeah, I think so. Yes. All right. Uh Cease and desist, 1509 Farmington Avenue. Still no activity on the site, nor and still no activity in terms of our still no progress yet with the reclaiming of the fines. So I will keep you up to date on that one. Okay. Uh, anything for a planner's report? I do have a few. Um just, just kind of updates, no real actions. Just kind of wanted to give you guys heads up of where things are going. Um, nine, nine apple tree. I know that's a hot one. I've after the fire, I've spoke with the applicant, and he's acknowledged that they will be taking the home down, possibly next month. He's just trying to finalize some things with the uh, insurance uh, adjuster. Okay, so, so that'll be coming down probably in August. He already supposedly has an architect on board for a new house. So I'm assuming if he's building a new house, depending on where it is, it may need to come back under the Upland review. So we may be seeing that again. So I'll let you know where that goes. Um, so how does that affect the restoration plan? He still has to... Yeah. Well, that's still, he's got, he's, he has most of that done. He had most of that okay. in. So he put a lot of that stuff in at the last, um, I want to say it's probably a few months before the fire so okay so that'd be a great time at that point we'll be able to look and see how things are doing and either expand on that or just or just keep that area and just go and go from there so i, I definitely just want to give you guys an update on that so you knew what, what was going to be coming on down the pike uh 504 main street plants are doing good um also talked with the applicant today he called me the, the the retaining wall in that back corner, if you guys remember, he called to say that this that the retaining wall in this back corner is doing is not doing good at all. I guess the pavement's starting to settle even more. So he's working with the DOT. They have a, a tentative plan to extend that pipe. So the outlet was roughly here. There's the retaining wall. He has a plan that he wants to extend the pipe down to here so they can get rid of this retaining wall and fill this all in. So I chat a little bit about him, about what he needs, what kind of permits he'll need with the commission. So he's gonna be calling his, his, his engineer and getting back to me with an application, most likely for early uh, September, because based on him, he wants to get this done real soon. All right. Uh, and the other one is Nine Farm Springs. For those that remember that one, that was the Hartford Healthcare property. If you remember, this is the one along eight, along eight, eighty four, where yeah. they cleared out that uh, stormwater basin. Well, as you know, that work has been done. Um, I did. They did the engineering analysis for it, and I have a tentative planting plan for it. I just got those late last week. I haven't had a chance to really dive into them. So I wanted to look at those and get those over to you guys. So probably plan on seeing that beginning of September. All right. And then we get that approved and then they'll be able to get those in for the fall as well. I noticed on uh, the, the uh, 
the guy in Main Street had pipe delivered to us. Is that for that project or? I didn't know. I didn't see anything. Where there's a I couple see. things going on. There's they're also building. Yeah, yeah crest on the high school. Yeah. To sinkhole yeah, guy. By oh, where was that? So, yeah, the sinkhole guy. I I saw that as well. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said 504 Main Street. Oh, I'm far to the avenue. No, no, no. I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, we approved that. That's the one I chatted with him. Um, that's that's Mr. Uh, Petrazzi. We right. Yeah. Remember, he has the the driveway with the stone culvert here. Yes. He has approved that piping. The piping. Yes. So he had the pipe delivered, and his contractors pretty much on board, waiting for uh, us to get a um, a dry spell. But, okay, but Bruce, yeah. I noticed that there are six pipes there, so he's going for the full 120 feet. It looks like I think as that opposed, as opposed to the hundred that we were hoping for. Yeah, but it comes in 20 or 30 foot lengths, so they had to get a full leg. You don't come in partials, so they're gonna put that in. And they'll have to cut off that last amount. So, but he's he's got six. They're 20 foot pipes, and he's got six of them. Mm -hmm. I don't. Know, I, I don't know if they're 20s or 30s at that at that length. I, I'd have to check. But well, that's yeah. even it's if it's thirty, it's even worse because there's no, well, six, no, well, six of them. Yeah, no. But what I'm saying is that that you can't order a half a pipe, so so they have to order a full leg. So to cut it back to what you're wanting, they'll have they'd have to cut that back and make that fit. So we'll, we'll have to, like I said, he's aware of it. I'm aware of it. So when they get out there, we're going to have to work it out in the field. And and like I said, I think that was. What, what did we say to shorten to 100 and was it 100 feet? I forgot. I'd have to, I'd have to look at the the minutes. Yeah, I don't know why we, you would want it to shorten it. And I think yeah, we allowed 120, but we were saying that to do 100 if feasible. I if feasible, exactly. So, but when he was speaking at the meeting, he said that they were 20 foot blanks, and there are six. Are they? Okay, sorry, I, I don't remember. There are six of them. Okay. All right. Well, that's definitely that's something that we'll have to talk about when we're out there. With, with them. All right. Thank you. Okay. Right. Thank you. Is there anything else anybody has that I'm on other projects or something? No, not that I'm aware of. Bruce, you have an update on the on the dam removal? Uh they're still working back and forth. They are working with Shippo now on a uh historic uh an analysis they're still hoping to do it this year there's a potential that they may have to wait to the beginning of next year so we'll see how that goes because the historic Thanks. portion of it had kind of kicked kind of had slowed down a little bit so they're still waiting to get that all 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 uh we're wrapped up so everybody's on board uh, and this border is we are in terms of access so it's everyone's on board waiting for it to happen. And I guess the contractor who does this all the time makes it sound like he's in and out before you even know it. He's in there, you know? So it's not it's not gonna take very long to get the work done. Until the stone clappers come crashing down. <laughs> or whatever else he finds in the in the center of that. That could be interesting. The history that's in there is gonna be really interesting, you know? Yeah. We've, I've, I've had to happen to me several times. You have this pipe and you start walking through it. Then all of a sudden it turns into these like old stone clappers, just one big stone on top of another stone. And it's like, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other, any other questions for the commission? From the commission? Okay. Thank you, Bruce. Um, you have the minutes for July 10th, the Inland mm -hmm. Wetlands Commission. The chair will take a motion to approve the minutes. So moved by Jay. And a second. Second. Go ahead. He's an elder. I keep hearing. Orlando. Okay, motion made and seconded uh, to. Approve the minutes of July 10th. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Abstain. Dave abstains. Dave abstains.
Okay. Motion passes. And uh, so we will adjourn. The Inland Wetlands Commission at 755 and start the Conservation Commission. Is there any new business? No, there's no new business. Did I call the meeting, call the meeting in order at 755. Uh, no new business. Uh, planner's report. Oh, none. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'll uh, I'll just add that I I did attend the uh, land trust farms and land trust meeting last Thursday. Um, it's kind of short. There wasn't much going on there, but I did go, and that's all I have. Uh. Commissioner uh, Eisner has his hand raised. Oh, yeah. Uh, for anyone that has been by the MDC Reservoir for Farmington Avenue, they're actually doing a mechanical harvesting of the invasive plant. It's probably hydrilla, but it's probably based on the progress they've been doing. It's probably going to be there for at least several more days. It's pretty cool. So they're actually out there with a, with a boat that has a paddle that actually pulls up the hydrilla, and then they've got a conveyor that puts it onto a trailer to haul it away. But if you've been by the the reservoir, it was, you know, significantly covered with hydrilla. Wow. Oh, interesting. I, I I live right near there. I saw that. I didn't know what they were doing. So thank you for explaining that, how I can look at it and actually understand what they were doing. Yeah, you know, with the hydrilla or any invasive species, you either have to use pesticides or this is a mechanical harvesting, which is a good alternative. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you, Robert. That's all. Okay. Uh, Chair will obtain a motion to approve the minutes of July 10th. So moved. Okay. And a second, please. Second, Mark. Motion has been made and second to approve the minutes of July 10th. I'll put, it, I'll put it back. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Got metal next. Mm -hmm. Abstain. Dave abstains again. Okay, Dave abstains. All right. Well, folks, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy your summer. Enjoy your August. And uh, we'll see you on September 4th, hopefully. <laughs>